Hi friends and welcome. My name's Steve and in this video we'll explore how we can find our first issue to work on to contribute to an open source project on GitHub. Our first step is to find an issue that we want to work on. I'm in the already repository and to start having a look at the issues I'm going to click on the issues tab at the top of the page. You'll see at this stage that there's 226 open issues. That may seem intimidating at first. One of the nice things about GitHub is that it's very easy to search and filter issues. One of the things that allows us to do that is to use labels and many repositories will label their issues appropriately. So I'm going to click on the labels button here and that will bring up a list of all labels that are associated to issues in this repository. Scrolling down, I can see a good first issue label here. That sounds reasonable. So I'm going to click on that one. And you can see we've got one issue now showing. That issue has the good first issue label as well as up for grabs. The up for grabs label is something you'll see across a lot of projects as it's a common convention to apply it to beginner issues or issues that are available for someone to work on. In this case, duplicate text in install guide sounds like an issue that we might be able to work on. So I'm going to click on that issue to see more detail. Now that we're inside the issue, we can see the full description of the problem. Some repositories will be better than others at listing and detailing issues. On already, we try and triage the issues and add as much detail as possible. The issue system in GitHub allows us to leave comments on issues. That's quite useful because if we have any questions about how this issue should be approached, we can leave them there and hopefully the project owners will get back to us. On already, we try to answer those questions as quickly as possible or get feedback from the domain experts if necessary. Looking at the description of this issue, it sounds like it's a very simple change to fix some documentation. That sounds like something we want to work on as our first issue. When starting out on a repository for the first time and particularly open source for the first time, it's probably a good idea to focus on something small and straightforward as your first issue. This will allow you to get used to working with Git and GitHub. Once you're familiar with the concepts, you can start to focus in on more complex issues. A common convention, particularly on the already repository, is if you want to work on an issue, that you should leave a comment to say you're doing so. This helps avoid the problem of two people trying to work on the same issue at the same time. So I'm going to type my message and then I'm going to click on the comment button to submit that. That's all we need to do at the moment inside GitHub. One thing we will take note of is the issue number, 2204. As you'll see in a few moments, I'm going to use that to name our branch. I'm in my command prompt now. I'm in the path where I previously cloned the already repository. We saw how to do that in my previous video, forking and cloning. What we need to do now is to create a branch so that anything that I do to work on this issue can be isolated from the other changes in the code. To do that, I'm going to use the git checkout command and I'm going to give it the dash B option to name the branch that I want to check out. In this case, I named my branch 2204, which allows me to tie it up with the issue later on. You can name your branches whatever you want when you're working on them locally, but I prefer to use the issue number just so that I don't lose track. Having pressed enter, you can see we've switched to that new branch 2204. Now that we have a branch, we can begin working on a fix. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code here because I know it's just a documentation change I need to make. Inside Visual Studio Code, I can go to the document that needs to be fixed. I'm going to search for the section mentioned in the issue, which started with on an Android device. And now that I've found that section, I can locate the problem and make the fix. This is just a very simple example for a very simple issue. You may have much more that you need to do as part of working on an issue, particularly if it's a new feature. Back now in the command prompt, which we're going to use for all of the git commands in this demo, I'm going to use git status to see that that change has been logged. You can see that the install guide there is marked as modified. I'm going to use git add to stage that change. Running git status again, you can see that now that file is marked in green and is going to be included in any commits that I make. Now we can use the git commit command to commit that change. I'm going to mark that with the message fixed duplicate text. 
Try to use a succinct but descriptive message so that the reviewer will know what you have done as part of this commit. The final step for now is to push this change to our origin. The origin being the fork of our code on GitHub. So I can use git push, naming the remote that I want to push to, in this case origin, and then the name of the branch that I want to push, in this case 2204. In this video, we explored how we could find an issue to work on on GitHub. We then created a branch locally to contain the work on that issue, and when we were done, we committed our changes and pushed them to our fork on GitHub. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.